Yeah, I see your screen. Well, um, no, I see your screen. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for start? Yeah. The presentation was so right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. How folks? First, I'd like to say thank you to the Yubicon Asia 2021 organizers for giving me chance to talk here. Here, I'm going to talk about my experience how open source helped me survive in pandemic special. This is me, I was a faculty of sports science and a graduate student in Yogyakarta State University. I run an escape community theater while I was there. No, I'm in master program of management in I was general manager of Ottoman to and travel company a year ago, a certified tour leader, and now I'm virtual seminar organizer in Arna Studio. Uh, feel free to contact me through email or telegram. Okay, I will begin with a little flashback before the pandemic. These are some trips organized by Ottoman tour and travel. Back then it was nice. Uh, no social distancing or whatever protocol. Also the travel requirement and policy are so quite easy to complete. And here, the pandemic was come. Uh, we all know how it feels like. Everything is not the same as before, right? We try to adapt uh, these wireless special tools for our company uh, to arrange according to have critical and pandemic. Also, uh, this one. We work with other business to hold virtual tour and give some ticket promotion. And you know, some of uh, I remember one of Darwin's famous phrase, survival of the fittest. Well, I am not a fan of him, but I think this trust really fit to our situation now. All about the ability to adapt to some natural condition. The fact is, over than seventy percent of international tourism declined in twenty twenty, and my company was one of them because we focus on international travel and tourism. Travel and tourism is indeed among the most affected sectors because global travel restrictions. And, and then uh, we study that things have gone out of our control and population. And It is uh, not wise to maintain the company if we could not profit effectively, right? This is the beginning of my episode 
to try the best surviving the pandemic. The thing is, uh, the first thing is a selling product. Here, uh, I use my practical graphic design and photo retouch to do the ads. And that's why it came and came on my best place. I try to sell product like food and electronic, and it's not easy. Yet not too difficult to sell these products, especially if you know your market. But since I am new to product selling, it's still challenging because sometimes we are, uh, what I think as the good and potential, uh, they are, are not sold as I have predicted. And the next is virtual seminar organizer. And this is uh, totally different, yeah? totally new for me. I uh, have never organized one before the pandemic. Uh, but then, uh, due to the need of it, I forced myself to learn something new. Uh, here, OBS. Uh, Studio is my new vibes and I like it very much. But what I learned, I joining uh, Andra Studios, uh, a business that focus in virtual seminar and graphic design. With OBS, I organize weekly event, virtual seminar about elderly, and sometimes personally hide in even like virtual graduation or like reading. And, and the image right one here is the virtual graduation event here. In the human initiative. Uh, and this one is the weekly virtual seminar, I have said before. I so many people get used to online seminar, even the elders. Okay, talk about the opportunities. And the next question is, uh, what are the other opportunities? I will share two kinds of it based on what I learned and I have did. This first one is primary need sectors. Food, groceries, health products like masks or hand sanitizers, also delivery service are now become our daily needs. Just if you could provide one, then do it as long as you have prepared and ready to compete the others. One thing you need to know is you are competing, so you can't sell it high unless you have something different. Based on my experience, selling product uh, food product is a bit risky because if we can't store the food in the right way, the product will be spoiled and we will lose it because we can't sell or consume it. I also have to find something given or give added value to the product which is not easy because some people just want the cheap product. The next one is online sectors. This one I have been doing for now as virtual event organizer. 
since almost organization or community doing on an event, this sector is still potential. You could try to approach those who have been using it. Maybe offering some school for virtual graduation or live reading to your friend. Other online business like online course, content creation, and social media marketing are also rising due to the pandemic. So, the profit potential are still high. Even after the pandemic, I'm sure these are still needed because not people raising the effectiveness and impact of online sector. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Feel free to discuss or share your thoughts. Thank you.